With Java 5.0, a new keyword has been added to the language. The keyword is enum, and it's used to declare an enumerated type. An enumerated type is a name, sort of like a class name, and a list of names that it can assume as values. Sort of like a Boolean value can assume only the values of the names true and false. An enumerated type can assume only the values of the names that you define for it. This is the declaration of an enumerated type that can assume any one of three different name values. Sort of like a class definition, this is an enumerated type definition. To use it, you will need to create an actual enumerated type variable. Here, the variable named wall is declared as an enumerated variable of the type hue. You can assign it a value like this. The variable named wall can only take on the values defined in the list of names for the hue enumerated type. You can then test its contents this way. And you know that everything in Java can be converted directly to a string object. That's true of enumerated type variables also. They will convert to the name of the item to which they are set, just like a Boolean variable converts to either the words true or false. There's really not that much to demonstrate because basic enums are pretty simple, but here's a program that shows you how to use their simple form. This class has the one enumerated type declared for it, and variables of this type can take on one of the four values. Here are two reference declarations of the type sound. One is named truck and the other is named song. With these two statements, the value of each of the enumerated variables is displayed. Here you see that the value of the enumerated object can be tested for its contents by being compared against the value name. For the most part, enumerations are as simple as that. However, an enumerated type is an object, so you can declare constructors, variables, and methods for it. Here's an example. In this example, the enumerated type definition looks very much like an inner class definition, and it acts like one, too. Here is the fundamental definition of the three value names that can be assumed by enumerated objects of this type. Each one of them has a number added to the end of it, and that is used to call the constructor. And this is the constructor. The number passed in is assigned to the internal variable named weight. So now we have an enumerated type with a constructor that accepts an argument and an internal variable to hold the value. You could actually have several overloaded constructors here just like in any other class. And this enumerated type also has a method. You can put as many methods as you need in here, but this one is just here to return the weight value. Now, as far as I know, it's required that the names go at the top of the declaration. They're really the only thing in here that's not part of a normal inner class definition. Right here, an enumerated object is declared and assigned one of the value names of the enumerated type. That causes a call to the constructor with the values that are preset for this name. There are no arguments supplied with this reference. This display line shows how the contents of the enumerated object can be extracted. The object itself displays as the name, and the method can be called to return the numeric part of the definition. A fancy enumerated type is sort of like a nested class, except the possible values are all preset. So it's all still constant, a constant value. It's just that the value is something more than the simple name.